Hello my loves and welcome back. And if you're new here, then thank you for joining me. So for today, we're going to work on a floor practice. It is all going to be grounded on the floor and we're going to work on our reclined pigeon pose. You're going to need a block. So before we begin, I just want to mention that this is a short little snippet of the class that I did for my Patreon community this month. We did a 60 minute class based around standing pigeon pose. If you're interested in joining my Patreon community and why would you not want to have more of me in your life, then I'll leave a link in the description below. So grab your block and let's come onto our backs with our knees bent and our feet on the floor. I just want to take a little bit of arch and flatten to start here. I'm going to have a moving scan for today. So just give yourself that little opportunity here to take that moving scan. How does your lower back feel? Any crunchies, any clunkies? Next inhale, take a little pause, rest in neutral. Separate your feet nice and wide. Draw the knees in towards each other. One leg is going to move at a time. So keep the right leg where it is, but let the left knee just come down the inside edge of your right shin, as much as you feel that you have available, and then rise back up. Take the right knee down the inside of the left shin, and then rise back up. And just do that a couple of times. Notice the range of motion that you have. Does one leg travel further than the other? Next time that right leg rides back up, let it come back up and then walk your feet back in, hip distance apart. So from here, bring your feet a little closer in towards your bum, draw your shoulders and your upper arms down into the floor, push your heels down, lift your hips up and then release back down. And we'll just do a couple more just like that. Lifting up and lowering down. And this time as you lift up, pause at the top. Pause, pause, pause. Feel the back body engaged here and energized. And then very slowly, Release everything back down. Take your time. Give yourself a slow return to the floor. Taking your time. Once you get down, take a breath. Grab your block. And you're going to take your block and you place it underneath your right foot. Now you can see here that I've got my right foot fully on the block so make sure that it's a long ways here and bring your left knee in towards your chest and just take that left knee and roll it around a little here give it a little circle around either direction doesn't matter maybe you want to do a couple in both whatever you feel and then the next time the knee comes out to the left then take your left foot and your left ankle, place it across your right knee. Have this little figure four position here, which is your version of a pigeon pose here. This is your easy pigeon here. Interlace your fingers, bring the hands to the back of your head. As you exhale your breath, lift up, elbows in. Inhale, release, elbows out. 
I'm doing a couple like this and you can stay with this variation. Maybe this is the version that you stay with and that's fine. Or the next time you lift your head and your shoulders, can your right knee draw in and then as you release, the right foot will find your right block. Don't panic if it's just the edge of the block, as long as it's towards the block. Next time that you draw in will be the last one. Release, right foot firmly on your block, let the arms rest down by the sides, left leg remains in this little pigeon kind of version here, this little pigeon lock of the legs. Push down through your upper arms, down through your shoulders, down through your right foot, push into the block, lift your pelvis up, and then release back down. Push into the block, upper arms, lift your pelvis, and release. And this time as you lift up, pause at the top, wherever the top might be for you, and then slowly, 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 release back down. Take your time, take your time. As you release back down, Draw your right knee again in towards the chest. Take the hands through that gap and grab a hold of your right thigh. Can you extend your right leg? Can you take your reclined pigeon here? But just take a couple of breaths here. Noticing where this left leg is close to your chest. Is it further away? Can you grab a hold of the thigh or maybe you have to use a strap or just hold on to your pant leg, whatever feels right for you. Notice if it's the opposite and you can actually walk your hands up your leg and grab a hold of your calf, your shin, and if you're really flexible, maybe you can grab a hold of the ankle or the foot, but that's not happening for me. My hips are too, too tight for that. And then we'll re-bend the right knee. We'll bring the right foot back to the block. Help the left leg uncross it. It's been there a while. And then bring it to the floor. Shift your block over to the left side, bring your left foot to the block. Right knee will come in, and again, we'll just circle that right knee out. Just getting the hip a little bit juicier here. Next time the right knee comes out, place the right foot across that left knee. Give it a little push if it needs to kind of come into position. Interlace the fingers, bring the hands to the back of the head. Exhale, rise up, squeeze in. Inhale, release, relax. Again, doing a couple here. And then when you feel you're ready, draw the left knee in and release. Next time that you release, let the left foot find the block, release the arms down to the sides, put the left foot fully on the block, push down through the arms, the shoulders, down through the left foot, lift your hips, and then release back down. Again, lifting and 
releasing. One more time. Pause at the top. And then slowly, slowly, let it release back down. And when you get down, the pelvis rests, left knee draws in, hands grab a hold of that left thigh, take the right arm through the gap. You can stay here with the left leg bent or straighten the left leg. Again, you can use a strap here or just grab a hold of the pant leg, whatever you can get a hold of here and just give yourself the opportunity to notice, is this side different? Maybe one side is a little more flexible than the other. Release, rebend, uncross the legs, bring them to the floor. Move your block to one side. And then from here again, separate your feet, draw your knees in. We're going to do a retest here. So take the left knee down the inside, rise up, right knee down the inside and rise up and just see if you feel any difference in the hips, the range of motion, the lack of funkiness that you may have felt earlier. <laughs> Next time that right leg travels back up into center, take a pause. Reposition the feet. And just give yourself a moment here. And just soaking up the residue of the practice. this point in your practice you could come into Shavasana whatever way that feels right for you or you can choose to end your practice here draw your knees towards your chest take a little rock and roll roll to one side Push yourself up and come into a comfortable seated position. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more big deep inhale. And a loud exhale. Resting here. Body, mind, heart and breath. Balanced as one. Namaste.